There we go. Give it some time. You should be stable by the morning. Um, I think it got worse. What's up, guys? We're back today with Helping Hand. And there's two more endings in this game that I haven't been able to figure out. One is here in the courtroom, and the other one's in the ICU. And I've tried doing different answers for people. Nothing happened. I tried letting the pee bag fill up. Nothing happened. So we're going to start with the courtroom. And I said no that I wasn't guilty and we ended up being the president. I said yes that I was guilty, we ended up in prison. And both of those ended with me dying. So I've ran back through it and instead of giving them actual like yes and no answers, I've just been giving them weird stuff like peace and rock on. And I'm gonna see if that changes anything, or I guess the outcome, maybe, maybe it gives me a different ending. So, so far as I've gone through and I've answered stuff, the judge has been like asking, does anyone know what he's saying? Um, I think Nurse Barbara said that I was an idiot and a few other things like that. So we're just gonna go with um, rock on maybe, rock on. That doesn't make sense. Don't believe him, whatever he says. He's a scumbag. Jeff, calm down. I'll ask the question again. Patient 169. Were you changing the radio channels in the car when the accident occurred? Peace. Patient 169, I'm trying really hard here to understand and be patient, but I just don't know what you mean. Just take it ease. Just take it as a yes. He's too much of a say yes directly. You know what? I don't have time for this. Sh if the defendant does not want to cooperate or he does not have the mental capacity to reply to the court, then he leaves me no choice. I hereby sentence patient 169 to five years at a mental rehabilitation center where he will be treated, monitored, and introduced back into society as a functional human being. I hereby deem this case closed. Thank you. Okay, so... Oh, wow. Good idea. I never thought of pleading insanity. It's genius. Fun in the nut house, friend. <laughs> Thanks, lawyer. I hope it, it'll a bit better than jail. That makes me feel like it's not. Just throw him in there. It's not like he'll hurt himself. Oh, great, the nurse is here. Oh, don't look at me like that. He's not actually crazy. The reason why he's here is because nobody likes him. <laughs> Thanks, Barbara. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Feeling comfy in that straight jacket twerp? I can't answer. <clears throat> oh, for God's sakes. Orderly, you need to unstrap his left arm. Oh, thank you. There we go. Why am I back in a cast? Feeling okay, butt wipe? Um, sure. Good, good. That jacket suits you. 
Does it now? Now you're crazy enough as it is. You don't go speaking to the other crazy loons, okay? They'll just make your time here even worse. Does the orderly ever say anything? Yeah, yeah, go get your stupid lunch. I'll be back to check on you, twerp. Thanks, Barbara. Don't try anything stupid. Dad, don't think I can, Barbara. Hmm. I know it's hard for you, but you're a big boy now. <laughs> With a big boy jacket. <laughs> so shut the f*** until I get back. I can't speak. <laughs> hey. Looks like we got ourselves a new brother in <laughs> Oh god. What's your name, bro? Um Peace? Ah, peace. What a be what a beautiful name, man. It really touch touches my heart. I think you're gonna fit in around here. My name's Jonathan. But you can call me St St Star Cat. That's my reborn name, and it's ju ju just something I'm a little wild cat trapped in a cage. I should be out and free to roam the wilderness. But I'm stuck here in this stupid, stupid... Okay, yeah, so tell me, man, are you a wild animal? Do you want to... Do, do you want to be free too? Um, yes. Yeah, man, we all want to be free from this place. It doesn't only trap us physically, but it also traps us this, this soul, man. But you know, no matter what they try to do to us, no matter what they try to take from our beings, I will always be who I truly am. And nobody can stop me, man. Nobody. You seem like a really decent guy. So you know what I'm gonna do? You're in a straitjacket. I'm gonna, I'm gonna offer this to you. Think of it as a way out of here, man. If you take this, you will not only escape from here, but you will travel through the universe, bro. You will see things no other human being has seen before. You will travel through space and time. And when you come back to Earth, you will be more sane than anybody in this bu building is. In this place, bro. What do you say? Are you in? Sure, I don't know what we're talking about. I knew you would be. J just take a little bit, okay? I'll be really strong for- what? what? Yeah, you feeling it? Wait, okay, I'm gonna take some too. Did your hair just turn? Are my fingers aren't moving correctly. <laughs> yeah, man. Do you feel it? All right. If I hit my thumb, I move my pinky. And my index, my pinky is... Oh, God. I hit shift too many times. Um, okay. Oh my god. It's the grumpy gingerbread man. Can I bite into your flesh, fleshy gingerness? Uh, I can see now why the orderly doesn't talk. <laughs> You're so grumpy little ginger biscuit man. Okay, bye bro. The ginger man and I are gonna hang out now. Yeah, bye. I still don't know what's going on with my fingers. I'm trying to put them all up and I can't. There we go. Okay, so my fingers are not where my fingers should be. What is going on? Oh, what have you done now? 
You just sit there, you little twerp. I have to go sort this out. Okay, Mrs. Alien Barbara. Don't do anything until I get back. What are you sorting out? Oh, hello, Barbara. You're very close now. How'd you get in here? Oh, great. Just great. Do you know what you've done? No. Jonathan Anderson is one of our most dangerous patients. He's been giving other patients some handmade drugs made with toilet cleaner and rodent side. Okay. Oh, God, look at you. You've taken some, haven't you? Um, hold on, I can figure this out. I just need... Yes. Jesus Christ. I don't use my fingers. What is wrong with you? I don't know. Orderly, get in here now. Hmm. Well, don't just stand there, you twit. Get me the antidote right now. There we go. Give it some time. You should be stable by the morning. Um, I think it got worse. Idiot. I <laughs> Don't do that again, okay? Um, Barbara, you're a witch. Oh, I'll come back to check on you later. Okay, Barbara. Oh, God. I think your antidote made it worse. I now see stars. Well, you look like you're still alive. I think so. Unfortunately. How are you feeling, twerp? I see the stars. You look like you've seen something troubling soon. Um, maybe? Uh, don't look at me like that. What? Is there something you need? Um... Maybe, hold on, I can figure, rock it on. I see. Well, you know, it's a good thing that you're here, here, because your responses still make zero f sense. <laughs> so you must be a crazy son of a b Anyway. Unfortunately, I'm not just here to pick on you. Your... Uh, has told me who? To inject you with these tranquilizers. So that you don't get even more bat crazy. That's a good idea. Uh, considering that incident we had with... Good old cat star. Give me your arm so I can inject you. Um, mm, which buttons do I need? No. Don't make this difficult, twerp. Just give me your arm. Oh, which buttons did I just push? No. Okay, you want to be aggressive? Here, I'll show you aggressive. Give me your arm. Here, take three times the dosage. Oh, God. You seriously need to calm yourself. Um, is that going to make it worse? There we go. All done. Got that dizzy feeling? Yes. Oh, God. Will you stop being full of sh Oh. No. no. <laughs> oh, dang it, I turned... <laughs> I keep clicking the shift button too much. No. Oh, God, did I break the game? Do, do I need to actually answer yes or no? God, how do I... How about we just go with... Um... I think I broke the game. I hit shift too many times and turned on sticky keys. 
in the middle of this answer. So, do you need more? No. When I flip her off, it doesn't do anything. It's so like once I get to this point, reality breaks. going on? Why can't I answer at this point? So maybe once you get to this point, it's just game broken and you can't go on anymore? I assume? Right? I couldn't get the game to go further past that point where I needed to tell Barbara if I wanted more tranquilizers or not. So I closed the game and reopened it, maybe seeing if there was a glitch, and I did get an achievement that was like, do you see the light at the end of the tunnel yet? So I'm assuming maybe that's just how that part ends and you get stuck there. So what if we tell our good friend, the cat soul or whatever, that we don't want his drugs. Oh, come on, bro. Don't be like that. I know you want to ease, you want to escape. I know you want to get out of here for a bit. Just try some. There, there's no harm in trying just a little bit. No, thank you. Oh, fine. Suit yourself. You don't know what you're missing out on. Oh, hey, orderly. I was just checking on our new friend here. <laughs> Ouch, okay, okay, I'm going. Do you know what you've done? No. Jonathan Anderson is one of our most dangerous patients. Yes, I remember all this. Patients of handmade drugs, yes. Are you gonna ask me if I took it? I didn't even touch a freaking button. Stop yelling at me, computer. Oh God, look at you. You've taken some, haven't you? No, no I haven't. Don't lie to me, twerp. You took, you, if you took the drugs, you have to tell me. Did you take those drugs? No. Well, suit yourself then. You know you'll probably die if you have taken those drugs, right? Okay then. Let's work for me. You have a nice night, twerp. I have a feeling that it'll be your last. Can I lie to her that I didn't take the drugs when I took the drugs? The psychiatrist has told me, that's a psychiatrist, right? That I need to give you these tranquilizers to keep you calm and stop you from becoming even more crazy than usual. That's good to know. Give me your arm so that I can inject you. Okay, fine. Oh, wow. You're actually listening to me. Hmm. Well, it'll take more to impress me. But maybe you're not so bad after all. All right, then. Here you go. They're all done. Okay. Feeling a bit boozy? No. Don't worry. That's just a side effect. Okay. Are you feeling better? You want some more? No. Okay, well, a little more couldn't hurt. Oh, I hit okay, not no. Oh, God. Okay, that should be enough for now. Listen, twerp. 
There's something I've got to tell you. I know you and I have had a kind of rocky start to everything. And God knows you're an Okay? But I just feel some kind of connection to you. That's not good. Do you understand what I mean? Sure. Oh, you do? Well, that's really great. Look, I did a bad thing. What'd you do? That you probably won't not like. The high should have kicked in by now. Look. Uh, what? Do you trust me? I don't know, Barbara. What are you doing? If you do... I'll tell you the truth. I'm just gonna say I trust you, Barbara. So you tell me what you did to me. Okay? The drug that I gave you... They weren't tranquilizers. And I think I've given you a bit too much now. We have to get you out of here. Why? Come on, twerp. Barbara, what are you doing to me? Get up. I'm in a cast. Come on now. What are we doing? Stay with me. You're okay. It's going to be okay. It just happened. Barbara, what did you do to me? Barbara? Barbara? I like this. Come on now. Wake up. Uh, are those my pee bags? Ah, uh, there we go. Look at you. Still got that smug look at your face. Even when you are about to die. You had me worried for a second. I honestly thought you wouldn't make it. But here you are, still alive and kicking. Barbara, what are we doing? Welcome to my house. Yay. What are we doing? A bit old, I know. But it does a job. Ah, uh, Barbara? Barbara, what's going on? What are you looking at? I don't know. Is it the pee bags? Oh, don't mind those. Those are just for decoration. The pee bags? I like how they glow during the night. The pee bags. It's warm and yellow. Almost like a nightlight. I'm not sure why. Most of them are yours. That's good to know. Is your P radio active or something? I don't know. Uh, no. I hope not. But then how is your skin so soft? It's almost like it could melt off of the bone. What? I like the thought of that. Listen, twerp. This might sound like a lot. But I need you to know... That I have feelings for you. No. And although initially I thought you had the world's ugliest face in existence... But I'm starting to feel... Like I need your presence around me all the time. No. There's a reason why I followed you. Through your recovery. It's because I've been playing games with you. No. Love games specifically. No. I need you to be touching me at all times. No. I need your skin. No. 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 I need to peel it. No. No, and wear it all the time. No, I know it's a lot, but I hope you're okay with that. 
No. You're not? Well, you don't really have a choice now, do you? I mean, this is kind of like a kidnapping. That's good to know. Like, you're not here willingly. Yes, I know what a kidnapping is, Barbara. Most people think you're dead. So... I guess that means I can do whatever I want. Doesn't it? No. I mean, you're tied up. Tied down. I think I'm still in a cast. So... Listen, before I peel you like a potato... And wear your skin like a fashionista. I need you to put this lotion on, okay? It's gonna make you even softer than you are now. <laughs> now just hold this bottle for a second. No. It'll be right back with another. Don't drop it. What happens if I drop it? You'll regret it. Oh god, okay, do I need to just like close my hand then? Okay. Should I drop it? I don't know if I should drop it. Should, do I just hold it? Bar Barbara? Ah, there we are. You're going to be the most beautiful, soft patient and, and any nurse could ever ask for. Uh, and I will wear your skin with pride. I can't wait, twerp. Uh, just... Let's just put you under. Okay, at least you're gonna put me out of my misery when I'm out. Because this might hurt a lot. Um... Did you hear how he died? Yeah, it doesn't sound very appealing. Apparently they still haven't caught the murderer. It was freaking Barbara! Okay, well, apparently since I'm just a potato to Mrs. Barbara, I am going to drop the lotion when she walks off screen to see what happens. Huh. Butthead. Oh my gosh, look at that mess you've made. Oh, you stupid little twerp. You had one freaking job. But I guess I can't trust you with anything. Well, you know what? If you want to be difficult, fine. Let's do this without the anesthetic. Oh god, no. Get ready for the pain. I regret my life choices. I regret so many choices. I should have held on to the lotion. It puts the lotion on his skin. Well, guys, that's going to be it for this episode of Helping Hand. And next time we come back, I will finally have to figure out what we are supposed to do in the ICU to get a different ending there. Because I still have not figured that one out yet. No, still haven't figured it out. But you guys know what to do. Leave a like on the video, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell icon, all that fun stuff. But until next time, guys, bye! I will have views.